So how often can you take psychedelics? Well, that depends on a few factors, like when was the last time you took psychedelics? What dosage was that? And what kind of experience do you want next? So for instance, let's say that you had done a normal full-on trip, like a standard dose last time. Let's say that's about 100 to 250 micrograms of LSD and maybe 2.5 to 3.5 grams of shrooms. So in that case, you'd have to wait at least two weeks to uh, reset your tolerance. So that means that if you take any psychedelics before those two weeks, then you'd have to take a significantly larger dosage in order to get the kind of experience that you want. So for instance, let's say I want a trip today, 100 micrograms of LSD, but I had tripped yesterday on 100 micrograms of LSD. So if I tried a trip today on 100 micrograms of LSD, I would feel nothing. I would have to take a significantly larger amount to feel anything similar to what I did yesterday. Uh, what that amount is, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but it also depends on what your last dosage was. So if I had taken 8 micrograms of LSD yesterday and I want to take 8 micrograms of LSD tomorrow, then that's probably fine. And this is how with microdosing you can take them more frequently, but you also are taking a much, much smaller dosage. And even with microdosing you still have those days where you take breaks and, and don't take anything. There are calculators online that can help you determine what kind of dosage that you want. You can put in like all these factors like uh, when the last time you took it was, uh, what dosage and what kind of dosage experience you want next and it'll tell you how much you would need to take. But I find that with smaller dosages you don't have to wait as long. You don't really have to wait for two weeks necessarily uh, for tolerance to reset. But for higher dosages, it's best to wait longer. But that's just physical tolerance. To maintain your sanity, uh, I would recommend not tripping every like two weeks. So, you know, people who trip too often, uh, I have not experienced this myself. I don't really know anyone personally who has, but I have read and heard about this. They tend to be uh, more out of touch with this reality and they're not really present in their sober life. So to maintain your sanity, I would say don't do like a full on uh, trip no more than every two months. So that would be like six times a year, which uh, might even be pushing it to be honest. Uh, and there's another factor to take into consideration, which is the magic. So the more often you trip, the more the magic is lost. So if you trip too often and you're losing the magic, you will still see visuals, uh, you'll still get that like physical sensations, and you'll probably still be in the same headspace, but you won't get as many realizations or revelations, things won't seem as beautiful. In fact, it might be kind of boring or even negative. So to maintain the magic, I say don't do more than three full on trips a year and you'll want to space these trips out evenly and in the time in between the trips to really integrate what lessons you learned from the last trip into your sober life. I think that tripping too often and not listening to what the psychedelics are telling you is a form of disrespect towards psychedelics and psychedelics will definitely punish you and kick your ass for it. So I would be very careful there. Another thing to keep in mind is that psychedelics and their analogs have a cross tolerance with each other, so that means that the same rules apply um, in between different psychedelics. So if I took like a full on trip of shrooms today, I can't expect to take like a full on normal acid dosage trip tomorrow, it still won't work. So the same rules still apply and to wait the same amount in between different psychedelics as well. So for me, my cadence with trips is I have no more than three like full on trips a year and I have one really big trip, uh, big by my standards anyway, once a year and that's on New Year's Eve. Uh, I've done this for the last three years and I only take that big dosage uh, on that day and I wait a whole year. But I find that waiting for so long, I can tell it really pays off and uh, those trips are definitely more special and I get a lot more out of them. Actually my last New Year's Eve trip was so intense that I'm even considering not even doing it this New Year's Eve because 
there's still a lot for me, I think, to unpack there. Um, and then for more recreational doses, which for me is around 50 micrograms to 100 micrograms, I do maybe four to six times a year. So uh, even with the recreational doses, though, I have noticed uh, the magic sometimes gets lost as well. So the last time I tripped was about a month ago, and I took about 80 micrograms of LSD, and I realized that it was not that great and the magic had been lost and I was like oh I think I've been tripping too frequently because you know with quarantine and everything there isn't much to do so I think I, I was tripping too often and so I have decided to take a break for a while um, I think I'm still not quite ready yet to take psychedelics but uh, I'll know probably in a month or two I'll be okay to take it again. As I mentioned before, you know, tripping too frequently I think is uh, definitely a way to abuse and disrespect psychedelics, but uh, this is kind of all just what I found and observed and uh, it's just a recommendation for you it might be different and uh, definitely do what you feel is comfortable and, and works for you, but I would still say to uh, try to be safe and responsible and respectful as always toward these substances and I'll talk to you later. Bye!